Now, for many who proudly support police, hearing that police lives matter may just sound straightforward, like a way to rally around them. And people who aren't that into politics may still hear it that way to this day. But for others, this is not just a genuine tribute. It's a political agenda to invoke police to specifically oppose Black Lives Matter. And it turns out that's the case for most people online. There is data on this. We know this because there were virtually no references to Blue Lives Matter before those Ferguson protests. Google shows online interest starting after Ferguson in 2014, that spike there, then spiking during Trump's 2016 campaign, then leveling off for years and spiking again around the BLM protests over George Floyd last summer. Now, for these people online, most interest in Blue Lives Matter comes when police kill black people. Not in response to anything else, be it a general ongoing interest or reports of officers in danger. A similar pattern holds if you check searches of the news. More people search the news for Blue Lives stories in response, you see there, to the BLM protests over Floyd last summer. Then, take the second largest search engine after Google. It's YouTube. More people actually get their info and news on YouTube than from TV news. We see the same pattern when you run the numbers. Most searches there for videos about Blue Lives Matter coming after the Brown killing and surging again in 2020. So for many people, this color wheel is not just about blue. It's about black. That matters because there's a difference between rallying around law-abiding officers in good faith and using police rhetoric to go after Black Lives Matter. Now, there is no precise way to generalize about all people who back any given cause, but it is worth holding the visible people and these politicos accountable if they're acting in bad faith. And that brings us tonight to the January 6th insurrection, when some people who claim Blue Lives Matter revealed themselves to be brutally attacking police while shouting USA, storming past Capitol officers, breaking the law, injuring and menacing and sometimes holding Blue Lives flags amidst their onslaught. We got dozens of officers down and you got the nerve to be holding a Blue Lives Matter flag. And you got the nerve to be holding a Blue Lives Matter flag. I thought they were gonna have a moment where they they came to and they realized like, yo, what are we doing? But like they instantly snapped out of it and they said, nah, we're doing this for you. They had on gas masks, they had on body armor, they had on two-way radios, they had on tactical gear, bulletproof vests, they were ready to go. I was scared, I was absolutely scared. One disturbing part of that parade of horrors, people revealing they don't actually support police or cherish blue lives. That was a political hijacking of a term for their own agenda on display here. Seeking an autocratic world where force is used for whatever they want and police who uphold the law are subject to this attack, disrespect, disdain, violence or attempted murder. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.